All righty, everybody. Oh my gosh, this is going to be exciting. So I'm going to kick it off and then Rebecca's going to come in and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to tell you what our special announcements are. So as people are joining in, because I think by last count, we had over 125 people registered for this. So not everybody's going to be able to get in. But for those of you who did, it's so great to have you here live. If you have questions, please type them in the chat. And if you can keep your line muted, that would be awesome because I'm making a recording for those who can't uh, get onto the live here. So, all righty, let me go ahead and get started. So my name is Allie Phillips and I, well, I do a whole lot of different things for those of you who know me. Um, I'm an attorney. I am a former prosecutor. I am an animal protection legal expert. And I still speak at uh, criminal justice conferences. In fact, I just booked a conference today for Virginia Beach next November teaching the Virginia judges. Well, that ought to be fun. Because judges are just a barrel of laughs, right? <laughs> So um, I'm a published book author, uh, both in my legal work and in my uh, healing work. Um, and my healing business is called Manifested Harmony. I'm a Young Living brand partner. I'm an advanced crystal master, which to get that designation, I studied and mentored for 18 months with my teacher who was a science teacher. So I come at crystals quite differently than a lot of people. I can get all woo woo. I can go there with you, um, but I really do focus a lot on the science to help our left brain really understand how these little rocks actually work. And I am a holistic wellness coach, so I really take a broad approach to everybody. So I'm really super happy to see you all here. Um, and I'm also the author of The Oily Crystal and The Oily Pet, part of my oily book series. And there are more books coming next year. I just have to basically calm myself down to actually take what's in my brain and dump it into my computer. So again, for those of you who know me, <laughs> hopefully it's not going to be too much longer, but I have all these books in here that are ready to come out. So, all righty. Um, and if you want to stay connected, these are my social media pages. Um, I have a great YouTube page with loads and loads of videos on all sorts of things, all sorts of things, but a lot of essential oil classes. Um, and on Instagram and Facebook, you're going to see a lot of my cats, a lot of my cats, whether it's cats and oils, cats and crystals, you name it. It's all about my cats. So, all right. Let's hop into the topic at hand. So I've been, well, before I actually get started, um, Rebecca, do you just want to unmute yourself and introduce yourself real quick before I dive into the topic? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm having a little bit of problems with my camera, but my husband's trying to help me get that fixed. Um, but I'm definitely here, and I'm super excited to be part of this. So welcome, everybody. Um, I love working with Allie and she has so much amazing information to share with you. So I will just let her keep going and I'll be back with you in a few. All right, super, super. So yeah, I love working with Rebecca um, and you'll come to understand why and why we've come up with, a, with some special things for you all tonight. Um, so I've actually been teaching about blending oils and crystals for about a decade and put all of my experience and hands-on work and testing and tweaking into the Oily Crystal book. Um, and what you're, what you're gonna learn tonight is that there's two things that crystal roller bottle sellers and essential oil educators are not doing, but Rebecca is. So we're gonna dive into just a little bit of education here, and I see Rebecca, you got your camera working. So awesome, awesome. All right, so one of the biggest questions that I get is, you know, why would I wanna pair a crystal with an essential oil? 
Like, isn't the crystal like totally perfectly fine on its own? And isn't the essential oil fine on its own? Absolutely, they are. But imagine blending the vibrational frequencies of both of them and adding them together to create an enhanced benefit, an enhanced wellness tool. And I think in the world that we live in now, that we've actually always lived in, but really now, don't we all want additional wellness tools to really feel our best? I know I do. And so crystals like essential oils actually provide a myriad of benefits at all of our energy levels because we have these different energy layers around our body. We have the physical, the emotional, the mental, the spiritual layers, and crystals work in all of these layers as do the essential oils, which is why if you've ever been taught to put an oil in your hand and just kind of sweep it over your body, that's a technique in um, Gary Young's Great Day Protocol with White Angelica, if you've ever done it, you put it in your hand and you sweep it over your energy field because things work out here, not just necessarily in the body. And so this is just, this is a way of really um, working with the energies of both crystals and essential oils. And so in the book, uh, the oily crystal, I actually go into great detail about frequencies because everything is made up of frequency. You are, I am, this air out here is not nothing. Um, this crystal sitting here, this glass, my cats, <laughs> this computer, everything is made up of frequency. And so in the book, and in the classes that I teach about crystals, which I see so many of my students are, are on here, I actually go over three physics principles that relate to crystals and explain how our energy actually synchronizes with a crystal. Yeah, you guys, physics principles. Isn't that crazy? This is what I love about crystals. So let me just tell you about one, just to kind of give you a little sense of these are just not pretty little rocks. So let me talk about what's called the principle of resonance. So this is when you have two similar vibrations. One is a large one and one is a small one. Like one is really big and strong and one is, is a little weaker, but they're a similar vibration. Like think of notes on a piano or you know, just musical notes on there. You, know, you can have note C where on the piano you hit it really hard and it's loud or you hit it very soft and it's quiet. So in the principle of resonance, that lower vibration, that lower note C is going to synchronize to the higher one. It's going to resonate with it. That's why it's called the principle of resonance. And I mean, you, you can even find this with tuning forks. If you've ever worked with tuning forks, when you take two tuning forks of the same note, note C, you take one and you bang it and it's like, la, and it's singing. The one that you don't strike will start singing. That lower one rises up. So this is one way that I talk about crystals because when we're, when we're looking at in the grand scheme of energy, who's the lower and who's the higher energy? Just to give you a note, we are always the lower energy. <laughs> we just always are. So why is that? It's because crystals, when you think about them, they are millions and billions of years old. In my classes, I actually go through and I talk about how the, how the earth started forming with minerals and rocks and water. Crystals were here first and they will be here for a very, very long time. You know, the crystals are, are fixed. They have a repeating crystalline structure about them, which differentiates them from rocks and stones. And what makes them unique is that they have what's called a base resonant frequency or a dominant oscillatory rate. And for the crystal, it is fixed. It's not going to fluctuate. We fluctuate all day long. I mean, how many of you had a day today where you were up and down, up and down, up and down? We fluctuate all the time. 
humans and animals and plants suffer from what's called entropy, which is destruction. You know, our cells are not fixed. They die, they grow. They die, they grow. They die, they grow. Right now, I'm here in Michigan. All of my outdoor plants, gone. In the spring, they will come back. Okay, so they suffer from entropy. Crystals don't do that. They don't do that. They have the lowest state of entropy. Entropy is decay. They don't decay. They last literally forever, which is why they're here. And so crystals at the molecular and the atomic level, they don't change. Okay, so let's go back to that principle of resonance. Okay, we've got a high vibration, we've got a low vibration, the low is going to synchronize up in that physics principle. This is how our energy body, our energy actually synchronizes with crystals. When we come into contact with a crystal, just like when we come into contact with an essential oil, our energy field begins to synchronize, begins to resonate with the crystal with the essential oil, because the crystal is a higher frequency. It literally pulls us up and it makes us feel better, right? With the essential oils, don't you feel better when you use them? That's what they do. Now, here's the thing. There's no standardized frequencies of crystals. It's virtually impossible because every crystal is unique and different. There are no two crystals alike on the planet. So even if you have amethyst or clear quartz, they're all different. They're all different. So let's dive into then essential oils and how this works. So what we know about the principle of resonance is that, you know, when you have a higher vibration and a lower vibration, the lower is going to rise up. So with essential oils, they don't have the solid structure like a crystal. They're like us. They can, they can fluctuate. But when we are looking at essential oils, when an oil has a higher frequency than our healthy human body, it can neutralize whatever is going on in our body. So those high frequency oils really help us with emotional energy. The lower frequency oils never lower your energy. They add to it and still raise you up but they assist with physical energy, if that makes sense. Now, um, you know, there's, you know, and this is, this is where some people don't like me saying this, but I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. There's all of those essential oil frequency charts all over the internet, all over social media, okay? I used to share them back in the day. I don't do it anymore. Here's why. We do not know the frequency of our essential oils. When Gary Young, if you use Young Living Oils, when Gary Young did those tests back in 1999, it was literally a snapshot in time at that moment. They have not been replicated since on a grand scale, maybe one oil here and there, but they have not been replicated. And I can tell you based on all the work that I do in the energy world, our planet has dramatically changed since 1999. So if anything, the frequency of our oils are higher. We just don't really know what they are, but those frequency charts can kind of give you an idea that rose, you know, it, it's pretty high and valor is actually very grounding, okay? But just keep that in mind that frequencies are always, always changing. So here are, the, here are really the two things and I'm giving you a real snapshot of what, what is in the book, but I want to get to the big thing that most people don't recognize about crystals when blending with essential oils. You have to make sure that the crystal is hard enough to go in liquid and that it's not toxic. And this is where I see so many essential oil you know, influencers and businesses who are selling crystal roller bottles, they don't know this. They don't know what they don't know. They're not doing it intentionally, but I cannot tell you how many times per day, seriously, per day, somebody messages me about crystal roller bottles that they got as a gift from Amazon and they send it to me. And I'm like, two thirds of those bottles are toxic. Don't use them, send them back. 
So this is why I love working with Rebecca because all of hers are safe. So let me just briefly talk about this. So in the crystal world, every crystal, every gem is, is scored on the Mohs hardness scale. The Mohs hardness scale is from one to 10. One is super soft. I mean, I want you to think like talc powder. You put it in water, it, it's instantly slush. 10 are diamonds. You cannot scratch them. They are the hardest substance. When you are putting crystals in water, the most hardness has to be six or higher. Whether you're putting them in water, essential oils, carrier oils, whatever, must be six or higher. Because if it's lower than that, the crystal can break apart. And, you, and even with crystals, because of how they grow, we never know what's really on the inside. So you could have a beautiful, what we think is a non-toxic crystal like amethyst or rose quartz, but what if a little bit of lead or a little bit of aluminum got inside in the growth process and then the rose quartz or the amethyst surrounded it? If it was soft enough, that crystal could break down and then a toxic mineral could actually leach out into your beautiful roller bottle. So this is why most hardness six and higher because it will not break down. The second thing is you need to know if the crystal has toxicity to it. And I'll be honest with you, for all the love of crystals that I have, most of them are toxic. Most crystals are toxic. You do not want heavy metals. So in the book, I go into great detail about these are the crystals that have aluminum and lead, mercury, nickel, asbestos. One of my favorite crystals called Petersite has asbestos. Okay, not gonna be putting that one in my essential oil roller bottle. So these are the two things that a lot of people don't know. They, they don't even know to look at this, but yet they are out on social media recommending crystal roller bottles and crystal pairs with oils that are completely unsafe and toxic. And before I show you this next slide, um, just make sure that when you're putting your crystals and your oils together, be very intentional about what you want to create. You know, do you want to create a grounding blend to basically calm you down? If so, you're going to select a grounding crystal and you're going to select a grounding essential oil. And if you want to create a very high vibrational energizing blend, again, you're going to, you know, you're going to select a high vibrational crystal and a high energizing oil. But I want to get to this um, part about it. just because a business sells a product doesn't mean it's safe. And I think all of us in the essential oil world know this because we see the oils that are out on the market that are adulterated, they're not safe. You can't use them with pets. You can't use them with babies. I mean, there's just all of these restrictions because there's a problem with them. Same thing in this business, which Rebecca is fully aware of this. And this is what I want to show you. I'm not going to name this business. This is, I'm not about calling out businesses that are doing it wrong. But this is a chart that I picked up at a conference about two and a half years ago. Um, a very, very large business that sells roller bottles with crystals in them. And this was the chart that they had available to people. And it they are very well-intentioned, but very faulty advice. They are not trained in crystals at all. And so on this chart, I literally sat there at the conference with my pen and all the ends that you see in red, N means no. No means don't put it with an essential oil. The ends are toxic. You put that in with your beautiful essential oil, and you could be rubbing aluminum all over your body or mercury or nickel or strontium or a host of other toxic minerals. That's totally contrary to why we would blend a crystal with an essential oil. You're basically poisoning yourself. And then the N that is in blue, it's too soft. It's too soft to go in liquid. And so if it breaks down, and if something is inside of that crystal that is not beneficial, that is aluminum or lead, then it's going to leach in. 
So based on this chart, about 75% of the crystals being offered completely unsafe. And they are still selling these. This is just one company out of many that I see. And it frankly breaks my heart. They know of my book. Many of them have my book and they still have chosen to do this. So in the Oily Crystal book, I actually outline the toxicity. I, I tell you which crystals are safe for most hardness and safe to actually be blended. And this is why I only recommend Rebecca's business, Silver Orange Boutique, because as soon as I published, I'm going to let her tell the story, but as soon as I published the book, she contacted me and basically was, holy crap, uh, I need to do some things. Will you help me? And of course, and we have been partnered on this ever since. So Rebecca, at this point, I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to stop sharing so that you can share. And let's see if I can give you hosting abilities. There we go. So now if you click share screen at the bottom, you should be able to do that. Let's see here. Can you guys see my screen now or do you just see me? We just see you. Okay. This is me learning how to do all of this. <laughs> so, but I'm going to get back to my Zoom call. All right, ladies. Okay, here we go. Share screen. Um, Does your PowerPoint come up as an option? Ooh, we got something going. Got yes. it? Okay, great. <laughs> Allie is so incredibly patient with me because as much as Zoom has been the prevalence the last year and a half, I don't ever host them. I'm always on them. So she's a great teacher in so many regards. So I just want to introduce myself for a few minutes. Uh, my name is Rebecca. I and a roller bottle lover. When I got into essential oils, kind of by surprise, that's what I immediately went to. And it's my favorite way to use my oils. I am a mom. That's really the first way I define myself. I'm a mom of six children. I had one during COVID, which was a big surprise and a huge blessing. She's one and a half now. And it's just gives me more energy than my oils, oils do, or at least saps them and provides some to our family. And I'm a surprise small business owner because I never set out to have an essential oil accessory shop. It was one of those things that kind of just happened. It's a cool story. And I'll share a little bit about that. Um, but the reason I wanna to talk to you today is because when I got into oils and started to use roller bottles, I realized the beautiful simplicity of the essential oils, although they're complex, they're so simple to use. Um, so I started using them in rollers for a variety of reasons. And I saw, wow, people are um, using these beautiful crystals. So I thought, this is something I'd like to try. So I started doing it and realized I really need to do some education on this because I don't really feel comfortable just throwing something in there. I played around with like putting seashells in and all just kind of things that were aesthetically beautiful because that brings me a lot of joy. So that's what I wanted to share with other people. So I spent months and months researching, trying to find um, information that talked about crystals and oils. And let me tell you, you can find gobs and gobs of information on crystals and you can find gobs and gobs of information on oils, but you cannot find gobs and gobs of information on crystals and oils together. I um, bought several resources and books and each time I'm waiting for them to come and thinking, okay, this is it, this is really gonna help me. And each time it was kind of disappointment and there'd be a paragraph, maybe a sentence or two in an entire book about them. And then I came across Allie's book and I was like, jackpot, this is exactly what I needed. This is exactly what every essential oiler needs. This is exactly the information that is lacking. And so I eagerly opened up this book and started reading and my big excitement kind of went, oh, and I had what I call my big, oh no moment. Like, oh, this is wonderful. And oh, this is so bad at the same time. Because as I read through this, I realized that many of the crystal bottles that I was offering were not safe. And it immediately made me feel uncomfortable. And I didn't like that. And I knew I can't do this. This is not right. We're here for wellness and health. And, and just because things are pretty doesn't mean I'm going to sacrifice something else to look at them or use them. 
So like Allie said, I contacted her and she was so gracious and responded to me right away. We had actually met once before at um, an essential oil conference. So it was nice to have that little bit of relationship, but she was warm and um, so responsive. And I said, can you help? Can you help me? And she basically spent several months answering my messages and my texts, I mean, emails and saying, well, how about this? How about this? Can I use this one? And then I'd find a whole list of these beautiful stones and I'd send them to her and she'd basically say, no, 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 yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a killjoy. No, no, no. <laughs> it was great though, in a sense, because it really helped me um, to refine and to find things that were safe. So many months, many dollars, many books later, I finally found the gem of the oily crystal. And I'm eternally grateful for her influence in that and her education that she's so willing to share with us. Um, so what I ended up with, is a brand new set that you can see here. And there are 12 stones that I think turned out beautiful because as much as I want the health benefits and the wellness, I really like things that are pretty. And they just make me feel happy when I use them. So these 12 stones are the deluxe set of my gemstone um, roller bottles. You can purchase them all together. You can purchase them individually. Um, but each one is a little different. Each has little strengths and differences. And I think together they're just beautiful and on their own, they're just super pretty. And I'm so happy with the way the set turned out and so grateful to Ellie for her guidance in that. Let's see. So I mentioned, I love roller bottles and there's a few reasons why. So if you are an oiler and you really haven't gone into roller bottles yet, or you don't quite see the point in them, like one lady came up to me at a conference once and said to me, why the heck would you use these? Like, they're really pretty, but I don't get it. I just dumps, you know, I don't need these. And why, why should I get them? And well, these are my whys. So for one, safety reasons. A lot of oils you need to dilute. Some of them you really need to dilute if you're going to use them on your children. Um, some people can stand an oil on their head, just dropping. The first time I dropped orange, which is my favorite oil. I love the scent. And I dropped it on my scalp. And two minutes later, burning, I had this burning sensation going down my head and I realized my skin is far too sensitive for this. So for me and for many others, like it's necessary to dilute. They're very portable, portability. You can take them with you easily. Um, ease of use, roll out, take the cap off, there it is. You don't have to go find a carrier oil. You don't have to find your uh, pump. I mean, you can, it's just one other extra way, easy. I can give them to my kids and they can roll them on their feet before bed, their thieves or their wellness or, you know, they're sleepy, um, they're economical. I don't have to pay the price of a straight oil. Oils aren't cheap. It's something we invest in because it's worth it. But you save money when you're using them in roller bottles. You don't need a lot of oil to get the benefits of the oil. Um, and lastly, which is their aesthetic beauty. They're just very pretty and um, they just kind of bring joy to me just using them and looking at them that way. So when you do a roller bottle, what you're gonna to wanna to do is dilute them and they're going to be filled with mostly a carrier oil. Your essential oil is very different than your carrier oil. For example, if you're gonna put a drop of say olive oil in your hand and a drop of any essential oil in this hand and you wait a few minutes, the olive oil is still gonna be sitting there. The essential oil is not, they're volatile. They um, are gonna evaporate a lot easier. They're much more concentrated and they have all those properties that we love about them. A carrier oil is basically a base oil that's made from a nut, veggie, a seed, and it carries the oil into your skin and it's a delivery mechanism. There's so many different carrier oils you can use. This is just a list of some of them and there's plenty more. The things I want you to be aware of when you're making a roller bottle is shelf life because sometimes your carrier oil will say it's good for two to three years, but that's sitting unopened in your pantry maybe. Uh, once you open it, it shortens it. Once you store them differently, it can shorten it. A fractionated coconut oil. This is my favorite carrier oils in order from top to bottom that I've used. Fractionated coconut oil has to be fractionated. If you buy a coconut oil and it's not fractionated and you get it and you make your roller bottle up, and it gets a little cool or winter comes, it's not gonna be liquid anymore. It solidifies at room temperature. Fractionated coconut oil will stay liquid. 
Um, it's very light, but it can clog your pores. So I use it on my body, not so much on my face. If I'm making a roller bottle for my face, I tend to prefer the jojoba oil, which actually is a wax. And it's not actually um, an oil, though we refer to it that way. But it's great for facial use and has a really mild scent. Rose hip and um, even evening primrose oil are two oils that I like to use in a beauty roller. So those I would use a quarter of evening primrose, a quarter of rose hip, and then I do half of it with jojoba. Um, each of these oils has different benefits for your skin, the way they absorb, the smells, um, vitamins, antioxidants, the, the shelf life of each of them. Uh, I'll give you a few more examples. The, let's say the argon oil, castor oil and argon oil. When I think of castor oil, I think it's some yucky thing that they made kids eat in the 1950s, but um, it's actually super great for using like on your eyelashes. If you can make an eyelash serum, you had cedarwood, lavender, rosemary, and fill up with castor oil. Um, argon oil is great for an under eye serum. If you're doing, trying to help that area of your skin with lavender, lemon, rosemary, geranium, pop off your bottle with argon oil. Avocado oil is one I've recently tried and I liked how it felt. It was um, moisturizing and it's thick. As opposed to olive oil, not a good choice. Very thick, very strong smell. It overpowers your oils. Not a good choice for a roller bottle, but there's a time for it. Almond oil and sesame oil are two that um, are pretty popular. They're kind of, almond has a medium consistency, shorter shelf life, um, but they're both allergens. My children have allergies to sesame and almonds, so they don't really get into my house. So they're at the bottom of my list. But if you look up recipes for roller bottles, you'll find all of these used and you'll find plenty more that I didn't even include here. Um, let's see. So how much oil, how much carrier oil? You're gonna find a lot of variety in what's suggested. I've seen lots of leaders um, in the oil industry suggests putting 40, 50, 60, even 70 drops of oil in a, care, in a roller bottle sometimes. Um, I've also seen a super conservative side and Tis, the Tisserin Institute is much more of a conservative side. He was a researcher, Robert Tisserin in oils. And this is generally what I start with. I do about 5% in my roller bottles because essential oils are potent. You do not need a lot of them to do their job. Save your drops, save your oils, make them last unless you really like buying essential oils, which I do too, but you know. <laughs> so you can go up or down on this. You're gonna go where your comfort level is. If you're used to using oils neat or straight out of the bottle and you don't wanna dilute it a lot, that's your choice. This is a suggested starting spot by an institute that advocates for essential oil safety. Um, so I always say, I, I learned this from my leader, Start low and slow. You can always add more, you can always increase. Make sure you don't have a reaction to any of these and then increase them if you want. Um, a lot of this stuff is just kind of our prerogative and we get to play around with it. It's not an exact science. It's kind of a mixture of a science and an art when you're mixing. So, um, so what do we use these roller bottles for? Obviously we use them for our health, our wellness, but they're also a lot of fun. If you are leading an oil team or you wanna share your love of oils, you can, you can gift these. You can uh, make rollers, perfume rollers, wellness rollers. You hand them out to team members or friends for their birthday, for their oily anniversary, any day that's special to you. So this is our celebrate you card. And this goes around in that deluxe collection I showed you, we have a roller for each month of the year. Now they used to be all the birthstones, but believe it or not, not all the birthstones are safe to use in liquid. Thank you, Ellie, for teaching us that. So these are what we call our celebration stones for each month. Um, like September right here is blue lace agate. It's not technically the birthstone of September, but we can celebrate with September because we know that's a great way to celebrate with something that's safe for us. And they're super pretty. If you have somebody who's trying to rank up on your team or just did rank up, you want a promo, you want to encourage, you inspire, you congratulate. We have this roller here. It has the Swarovski crystals in it. And this has actually gold flakes. Um, you will find other roller bottles with gold in them places. And sometimes they're pure and sometimes they're not. I can tell you this is the top of the line 
highest grade gold flake, pure gold, that doesn't have any of the, the silver in it. Um, another thing you can do with stones that I really love are using them for affirmations. You can do these with stones that aren't safe to put in roller bottles, such as, let's see, which one do I have here? Uh, you are brave is orange calcite. Not something you can put in a roller bottle, but a beautiful stone. So we came up with these affirmation cards. These are scripturally based. They have a Bible verse on them, an affirmation, and the flip side um, offers up what that affirmation is and what the stone can do for you, encourage you wise. These are also available in gift sets, just lots of ways to show your love of oils and um, share with people. I met another jeweler at a show, her was from TJ, TJE Design Studios, and we paired up and she makes these beautiful um, bar diffuser necklaces. I actually have, oh, <laughs> I think Allie's has one, a neck, uh, bracelet from her. Her name's Tanya and she's amazing. She's a, a nurse and a therapist and she takes her oily wellness into a business to provide gorgeous jewelry. Um, one year, all my family got some different jewelry for Christmas and I, I just love these. I have on the one right here from the You Are Blessed. Not only does it give me the diffuser, lava beads, but it just kind of puts that meaning into my heart. And when I touch it, I remember that. Another way to incorporate your roller bottles or your oils is into celebrations. So when do we have people over and sharing? It's a lot of things like birthday parties and baby showers and get togethers. So I collaborated with um, Boutique Betsy who makes these gorgeous, she has five different parties right now, printable parties, you can get them on Etsy and I have coordinating favors for them. Another way, you know, to share. Now, maybe it's a little more different difficult to do that during COVID, but let's just hope that's not a forever thing and we can get back to these birthday parties. So <laughs> I did um, essential oil roller bottles for my daughter's sixth birthday party and those girls loved them. Just a few drops of lavender in some and a few drops of orange and spearmint, which is a sweet little perfume smell. And I, I love orange and spearmint together. Every little girl is excited. It gave me a little chance to talk to their moms about it and they all were totally on board for it. So that was super fun way to do it and easy. You know, it's not hard. Um, if you thought about bringing your love of oils into wedding, we have wedding favors now. We do oils for, we have roller bottles for that. I mean, what an ultimate way to share that. Send your guests home with something you totally love, right? It's a good thing to share with our children. Um, so as I did all this research and figured out how these oils can leach into these toxic stones, it got me thinking about different plant materials. So I started researching into um, botanicals, plants, flowers, and learned a ton about that. And that's actually a lot easier to learn about because essential oils and botanicals have been used together for much longer. And it's much more difficult to find toxic um, combinations with that. You wanna have things that are completely dried and organic, and that's the best way to start. You put your carrier oil in these bottles and the, the plant material, the botanical actually infuses into your oil. I let mine sit for about six months and smelled them all, and some were faint, some were a little stronger. So I still encourage you to use some oils in that, but it just adds to it. It adds another layer of beauty, beautification, something you love, and it adds a layer of um, the oil use. So botanical infusions, let's see. Next is resins. Resins do the same thing. Now, differently than the, the botanicals is I filled up my frankincense roller right here, my myrrh roller. And after a month, my frankincense roller smelled like my frankincense roller with essential oil drops. It smells wonderful. It's sweet. It's beautiful. And I haven't even put the oil into it. My myrrh roller doesn't quite smell that way. So I'm adding um, something to that some myrrh and some to do uh, um, a beauty blend for my face. These rollers I super love, especially around this time of year because they do come with a gift because this ties into Christmas so nice, right? Gold, frankincense, myrrh, yet they're not all kitschy and they're not Christmassy where January, February comes along. It's like, I don't want that. June comes along, I'll be like, girl, give me my frankincense roller. I love that, it's beautiful. It has nothing to do with just being Christmas but it's kind of adds an extra special special way of celebrating it this time of year. Um, when you store your roller bottles, people ask, how portable are they? Because portability is one of the things I love about rollers. But the whole point of a roller bottle 
is to let oil out. So if you are consistently having your bottles in your purse or your bag or your diaper bag, what have you, they might leak. Some of the caps or the little ball, the roller ball bearings are tighter fit than others. I encourage you to keep them upright as much as possible. When you're going somewhere, grab them, try to keep them upright, but there's no guarantee things aren't going to come out just because it's designed to let the oil out. I test all of the roller bottles that I use and that I use in Silver Orange Boutique, and they all pass my test of not like just gopping out loads and drips, but they will all leak eventually um, just by their design. So we came up with, and this acrylic stand actually holds the complete collection. It'll, you can keep it in your bathroom. It still looks pretty. And you can put makeup brushes and lip gloss and mascara, and it's very multi-use. So this is one way you can store those, especially because these are super tall and tend to knock over easier than the shorter, squattier ones. But then again, I really like these. <laughs> these are the ones I use, and that's why I have a stand for them. I actually have this one too. Sorry, I'm just showing you on the video. I didn't put it in my um, presentation, but this is a hand carved made in Kenya soapstone, and it's a fair trade product. And technically, it's a candle holder, honestly, right? But I like supporting fair trade. I have a lot of fair trade items in my shop, and I like to multi purpose them and say, how can I use this? So when I find things that I can use in my oil love, I jump on them. So these hold my bottles perfect. If you have just one of these sitting somewhere, it's a great way to um, support people around the world, fair wages, you know about fair trade. If you don't, ask me about it. I'm happy to talk to you. Let's see, what else have we got to share with you? So yes, one of my favorites. When you get your copy, if you don't have it yet, of Allie's book, which you need to get, so make sure you get it, um, she is nice enough, sweet enough that at the end, she shares some recipes. And this is just three of them. Exhale, glow. Um, you'll have to look at her book to see exactly what they're for, but this is a little miniature set. So if you just want to get started with something and try, this is a great way to start it out. It's the mixture of um, crystals that you need in them. So finally, this is the deluxe collection that I mentioned earlier that has the 12 rollers that you can uh, purchase separately or in this collection, it comes in a beautiful gift box. It has a little um, essential oil key that helps you remove and put on the rollers, some pipettes, a funnel, and then um, an insert, which I can hold up here. It's not in the picture. I don't know how well that is to see, but it lists the stone the what it supports for example rose quartz is our january roller bottle it supports rose quartz supports love peace emotional healing try pairing it with bergamot jasmine well there are some ideas to get you started and my favorite thing about it at all is at the bottom right here where it says it's oily crystal approved and that is um, an approval that I take seriously and an endorsement that I'm super proud, very proud to be able to say thanks to Allie's education. So I think I'll go give it back to Allie here. Thank you guys for taking the time here tonight to look at all this. Um, I'm glad to share it with you. You can find all these products on my website, which is www.silverorangeboutique.com. And Allie's gonna finish up and then share our exciting news. All righty. I am, I think I just reclaimed so that I can finish what I need to do. Yay. All right. Okay. So I want to share with you all, and you're welcome to take screenshots. You'll also get a recording of this. I want to give you oil blends. If you use Young Living, I realize um, some of you may use other brands. Um, but in the oily crystal book, I only talk about single oils because the blends are trademarked and being an attorney, I respect trademark. So there is no mention of Young Living or their blends in the book, but I can give you that here in this presentation. So in the book, I actually outline um, using oils and crystals together to support your chakras. And if you're not familiar with the chakra system, we, we basically have seven primary chakras that feed into every endocrine gland, every organ, every part of the body. And so when you keep the chakra healthy, it keeps those areas healthy too. So I go into it in more detail in the book, but 
I want to give this to you. Okay, so if you want to take screenshots, you can. So for your root chakra, this is where you find your security, your belonging, you know, your, your safety in the world. And so red jasper is a safe crystal, but your blends can be Exodus 2, grounding, the release oil, because this is also where fear starts to root in the body. So release is a great oil, so is sacred mountain, Sarah and valor. Now, when you move up the body, so the root chakra is basically at the base of your uh, tailbone. The sacral chakra is just a couple inches below your belly button. This is your creative center. So you can create a human being, or you can create a business, or a book, or an idea, or just be artistic. It's where your inspiration comes from. Carnelian is your safe crystal. And your blends are abundance. Christmas spirit, inner child, inspiration, into the future, motivation, and sensation. So when you blend any of these with carnelian, not all of these, blends are blended for a purpose. So I would not be mixing these blends together. Pick one, put it with the carnelian. There's also other crystals that I go through in the book, but you can create a really nice sacral chakra creativity blend and literally apply it a couple inches below your belly button. All right, for your solar plexus, this is over your stomach and this is your power center. This is, this is your energy. It's where self-esteem and your self-confidence comes from. So citrine is your crystal and look at all the oils that you can use. I mean, there's a lot of different oils that you can use to really kind of come into your own power and Feel strong and confident about who you are. You know, we live in a, in a really changing world right now. And knowing your inner power, your inner strength, your confidence is very, very important. So you can create some really beautiful blends uh, with citrine. Your heart chakra, this, this is where you find joy and unconditional love. It's where you can heal heartache and betrayal, rose quartz. Absolutely. So if any of you have ever taken uh, my basic crystal healing class, I tell a really funny story about, you know, why is Rose Quartz the heart chakra healer? Like says who? This is my attorney brain and why I really dig into the science, because there is a reason why Rose Quartz is the heart chakra crystal. And it's because of the minerals that are in it. So rose quartz blends beautifully with believe or forgiveness or gratitude or the joy blends. Oh my gosh, rose quartz with the joy oil, oh, it's divine. Your throat chakra, this is your authentic communication center. This is where you are speaking your truth. Speaking your truth isn't yelling at people. Speaking your truth is not going onto Facebook and screaming at people about what you want them to believe. That's not speaking truth. Speaking truth is always coming from a compassionate center to where other people can hear it. So if you feel like nobody's listening to me, you got to work on your throat chakra. Blue lace agate. So, I mean, Rebecca said that's her September birthstone that's in her set. So blue lace agate with either Australian blue or dream catcher. Oh my gosh, you apply that on your throat chakra, you're going to be speaking your truth and people will listen. Your third eye is right in the center of your forehead. And this is where you get clear thinking, where you get the vision for your life. You get intuition. We all have intuition. Intuition is not a woo-woo thing. We all have it. Do you recognize it? Have you developed it? It's like going to the gym and working out. Amethyst is going to help you strengthen that muscle, as will the oils awaken, clarity, envision, or white angelica. Just rollerball it on, on your forehead and you'll be amazed. Because seriously, if this attorney can have intuition, anybody can have intuition. And then, last but not least, your crown chakra. This is right on the top of your head. This is where you connect to your source energy. 
This is where you manifest. So if you're really struggling with manifesting, I'd be focusing on your root chakra, which is where fear is, your solar plexus, which is where your power center is, and your crown chakra. And clear quartz is your crystal. Clear quartz does everything. It absolutely does. And I mean, you have so many oils to choose from, from abundance to gathering, higher unity, sacred angel, three wise men, the gift. I mean, really, really high frequency oils. Now in the oily crystal book, I go through the single oils like frankincense, myrrh. I give you all sorts of varieties there, but here I wanted to give you all a little special benefit and give you some blends. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for what we have? All right, so this starts tomorrow through Sunday. So Rebecca is offering a 25% discount on her gemstone rollers. Rebecca, do you wanna share more about that? Yeah, it's valid on all the single rollers and the complete collection. And I will say, this is better than any Black Friday sale I'm going to have. I've never offered these at this discount. These are my best sellers and they sell at full price. So just because Allie and I wanted to do something fun and special to kind of kick this off, I'm just said, what the heck, let's do something big. Um, and an extra bonus is that my deluxe collection is on sale right now on my website. And this code will actually give you 25% off the sale price. So it really is a chance for you to um, save. I really want to get these into your guys' hands so you have something safe and beautiful. So yeah, yeah, that's that's the offer. I hope you take advantage of it and actually have it set up to start tonight. So if you do want to shop tonight, you can do that too. I don't want to limit you, you know. <laughs> yeah, and y'all, this is amazing for stocking stuffers, you know, giving, you know, that little gift to your favorite waitress. Like I have a favorite waitress at my breakfast place when I meet with my networking group. Like I, you know, little, little gifts like that, that can absolutely change someone's life. So definitely take advantage of this. Use code oily crystal to get, and you know, I should have used the same code on mine. Hmm. Oh. But that, <laughs> we should have talked about that next time. Right. <laughs> I know you, you guys, this was just literally a crazy idea. I, I messaged <laughs> Rebecca and I'm like, we should do something before Black Friday, before yeah, basically sure. everybody goes broke. Let's get <laughs> these wellness tools into all y'all's hands. Yep. And she's like, sure, why not? And so yeah. we just literally threw this together. So <laughs> yeah, so take advantage of this. So for me, I'm offering 20% off of all of my books. It doesn't matter how many you order. Um, use code Black Friday. Okay. 20% and you can even get the oily pad. You can get as many as you want for 20% off. But in addition to that, I have two classes coming up that normally I charge a fee for no fee for you. Mm -mm. No fee for you. You guys get in for free if you want. So I would really recommend, um, or I can try to type it into the chat when I'm done um, talking, but you just go to my website, manifestedharmony.com slash essential oils slash classes. And you're going to see introduction to crystals. Because if you're like, whoa, 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 I really am kind of intrigued. I have a nine hour basic crystal healing class that's coming up in February. I teach them three times a year. Let me give you a little one hour introduction so that you really understand the power of the products that Rebecca has put together. So that class is going to be on Monday, November 29th. It will be recorded. If you register, you guys get in for free. Okay. And that's then I, awesome. I want yeah. to come to that too. <laughs> You can never learn too much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'm going to get a little geeky and sciencey. Um, so, and then the second class um, is to really, if you're feeling like, wow, you know, our world is kind of making me feel unnerved and there's so many changes and I'm starting to feel afraid and, you know, like, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I actually have a membership group called the Sacred Shift where we talk about this stuff all the time. I'm going to do a little one hour introduction to help you understand how oils and crystals and 
in a few hours, we're going to have a very powerful full moon. And even if you don't necessarily follow astrology, we all feel it. Oh, and it's going to have a partial lunar eclipse. It's super powerful. And I love to help people maximize and really basically connect with the earth. Because what are two things that came from the earth? Essential oils and crystals. So this is going to be a really, really neat class. It's basically going to blow the top off of your brain and you're, it's, it's going to just open your world and you're going to realize, wow, I actually don't have to feel anxious and stressed and depressed and feel like I'm losing my mind. It's when you understand how everything works, it's like, wow, I actually have tools at my disposal. So, um, so anyway, the registration links are on my website. Go and get yourself registered. Um, and uh, all right, that's what we got. Um, there's no code to use for the classes. Um, just go, go to the website and I am going to attempt to type that into the chat right now. Um, so do we have any other questions? You can go ahead and type those in the chat. And Rebecca, do you have any final, final comments? Um, I would just throw out there that I attended Allie's nine hour crystal class and I learned a ton. I um, had a little bit of, you know, kind of apprehension of what it was I getting into and what was this all about. And she did an amazing job at explaining all the science behind it, which was totally what I was wanting to hear and helped me understand it in a really simple way. So I would definitely recommend that. And I can't even tell you how amazing it is to get a free one hour one on that. Like I would have jumped at the chance of that. And like I said, I'm, <laughs> I will jump at the chance of that because that's the stuff I just need to keep hearing it over and over to get it into my brain. So I think that's a super deal. Everybody here should be in there. That class is going to be loaded, Allie. You better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, because there, there is, and trust me, I can, I can go woo woo with the best of them. I can get all spiritual and I can absolutely get into that. I mean, for goodness sakes, I have a cat unicorn on my wall here. I mean, I, which I often have in my background when I'm doing these legal presentations to prosecutors and law enforcement, and they love the cat unicorn. So believe me, I can go there. But I love making it understandable that, you know what, we do, we have these beautiful, beautiful crystals. Your body actually will synchronize with them. You will become the crystal. And I, and I love helping people understand that. So, okay. All right. I think we, we are done uh, for the night. So thank you very much, everybody. I will um, get, get this recording uploaded to YouTube. I will email it to you all because there's so many people to email it to. Check your spam folder because I, I will do this tonight. And then, um, you know, get ready to start shopping tomorrow. It's open through Sunday night. And uh, we hope you have a really good Thanksgiving holiday. And for those who are outside the country, oh, I should mention my books are also online. If you are outside the United States, just get the online version of my book. You literally read it through my website. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Rebecca, thank you for, you know, always hopping on board when, you know, we each have crazy ideas. It's like, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. Crazy is good. <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, and thank you all for being here. It's, it's, uh, I, I just love seeing how many people are interested in blending oils and crystals. It just, it, it just makes what Rebecca and I do totally worthwhile. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thank all you. right. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk Bye. to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you.